Well, first of all, if you don't mind, after having got the news from Paris, I recalled, I remember, a poem written by my native compatriot, the Nobel Prize winner, uh, poetess Wisława Szymborska, and thank you, Fritsch, from your staff, who in half an hour uh, supplied me from the computer the poem Hatred. If you don't mind, I'll share with you some uh, hatred. Look how, how able and skilled is in our century the hatred. See how efficient it still is, how it keeps itself in shape, our century's hatred. How easily it vaults the tallest obstacles, how rapidly it pounces, tracks us down. Hatred, hatred, its face twisted in a grimace of erotic ecstasy. Gifted, diligent, hardworking, need we mention all the songs it has composed? all the pages it has edited our history books, all the human carpets it has spread over countless city squares and football fields. Hated is a master of contest between explosions and that quiet red blood and white snow. Above all, it never tires of its leitmotif, the impeccable executioner towering over its soiled victim. The last words. It's always ready for new challenges. If it has to wait a while, it will. They say it's blind. Blind? It has a sniper's keen sight and gazes unflinchingly at the future as only it can. So first my reaction was hated. And then before I will ask you a question, I want to share with you something else from my experience, you mentioned my participation in the march, of the, in the march from um, Selma to Montgomery in 65. Before I arrived there, I went to Mississippi, to the Deep South. It, it, it was the time uh, for the young people to know um, the, really the, the, the battle for civil rights in the United States. I came with a Volkswagen, old Volkswagen, used Volkswagen. I remember I bought it for, purchased it for $110 at the time because it was used in 65. And then I went to Magnolia, Mississippi, you know where it is, where was set fire in a um, school where the, 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 the black kids tried to pursue together with the white. And when I left the car, there was somebody set fire to my car. Why? Because next to me was a Negro boy. Who was next to me? So when I remember Schumburg has hated, I can only also remember when I was the object of hatred. But this is what is behind hatred. And then believe me, from those days I was starting, I started thinking why people do it, why? What is the psychology? In the deep south I could understand it for the white, Poor people, if they wanted to distinguish, their only value was their white skin, nothing else. So when they see in the, the rest coping with the uh, equalization of rights, they opposed it, they rejected it. And what do I, my value, my, my whiteness, being a white man? Probably, for sure, it happens in very many other fields, in very many other uh, situations. And here I want to tell you, 
at least as far as I'm concerned. People are much more obsessed when they are humiliated than when they are killed. And believe me, if you want to avoid the ultimate danger, start with trying with, 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 with trying to comprehend, to, 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 to develop empathy, to not to humiliate the other person, because this is stronger. The final word for my final question, Marian, because I'm fascinated by You facing the worst barbarism, what kept you alive? Was it the beauty he's talking about? Was it sheer luck? What is it? <laughs> well, some people would say providence. Well, in my, well, maybe fortune, good luck, but in my case, I'm sorry, I, maybe I would be a little bit banal. A friend of mine, excuse me for giving this parallel, a friend of mine whose autobiography was translated into very many languages, it is autobiography with a scar. Mm, Roman Pfister, in his memoirs, who passed the same what I did, his only conclusion is, in a hell should behave according to the laws, to the rules of the hell. No rules, only you can survive if you kill somebody else. Fortunately, fortunately, really, it was my fortune, my luck, that I passed the two death marches, the two camps, it was Auschwitz and Buchenwald, in a group of comrades, of, of my comrades. And I will give you only one example, and then you will know what I have in mind. After having arrived to Auschwitz after three, four days, a couple who was a criminal and who used a German slang, I couldn't follow his slang, ordered something. I didn't follow him, but I didn't understand him. So he knocked me down, I fell down, my glasses were broken, and you know, for, for somebody who is short-sighted, without glasses, Cemetery one day, two days, he would be beaten up to death. So there was one chance to get glasses. Well, of course, to the young generation, like that, no possibility to go to the optician, no possibility to do. But still, there was a possibility to get glasses from the dead bodies. And people who you know in Auschwitz, it was called Canada this unit, this detachment, which was uh, sorting the, all the, 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 what was left. Um, so they, 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 wouldn't, they, they were not people of good hearts. They wouldn't give you glasses from the dead body. They wanted to sell it. What was the currency among the elite and the in the camp was even vodka, those who were in touch with civilians. If not vodka, for me, it were cigarettes. We didn't have cigarettes. We were just on, in the bot on the bottom. But still, we have also currency. What was the currency? Bread. It was everyday portion. And they demanded three portions for glasses from a dead body. If I had to 
give the three portions, I would die. And the 10 people, my 10 comrades, decided that they will cut once one third of the 10 portions to give and over to purchase, obtain glasses for me, for myself. So my conclusion is very optimistic, this one. Solidarity. Maybe, maybe this also made me going in 65, in the march with Martin Luther King from Sarnath Probably this was, probably. So in this case, I would be an optimist. And in general, I am not so much, because you touch the, the issue of culture and what a comparison. Timbuktu is something, this is really a great movie. But 95% of the audience, they would see horrors. They would be infected by only power films, criminal films. So, and here I agree with you. We could say as Ecclesiastes, it has been already in Neron times, it was the great performances. Maybe this is a great performance of the internet, of the television. Cavern consulates. We should think what to do with it, with, with this great infection of the tabloids. Of the, this is the first step of barbarism. This is the first step.